Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to present to you the 352nd class to graduate from Hopkins Academy, the class of 2016. Okay, so before I begin, I would like to take a moment to thank two people on the behalf of the graduating class for their hard work and dedication. Uh, Senora Fitzgibbons and Sir Simmons, uh, please join us on the stage to be recognized and received a thank you gift from the entire class of 2016. Uh, faculty, family, friends. I am honored to be speaking to you today about our time spent at Hopkins Academy and what it means to be a part of the class of 2016. In all honesty, this has probably been the hardest thing I've ever had to write during my time here. And yes, it was harder than one of Mr. Vreeland's Ethnic American Lit essays. Except, instead of not reading the book, I just don't know how to put my experience here into words and I don't think SparkNotes will save me on this one. <laughs> Class of 2016, we have watched close friends and siblings graduate, but now it's our turn. It is our time to mark an end of an important chapter in our lives and move forward with outstanding confidence to capture dreams we have never thought possible. But before we look toward our future, let's remember our past. Six years ago, we entered Hopkins as naive seventh graders, longing for the end of our middle and high school days. Then, we viewed graduation as a distant dream. But now, it feels as if these past six years couldn't have gone by any faster. Looking back at our time at Hopkins, we have shared memories that we will carry with us throughout our life. And, as much as we have complained during our time here, we all know that we will always have a special place in our hearts for Hopkins Academy. Moving forward, let's always keep in mind three simple principles. Be yourself, do what makes you happy, and put the cell phone down. Be yourself. Everyone in this class has a unique personality. Everyone has their quirks. Like how you never see Gio without his backpack on or how Greg seems to always match his shoes with his shirt. These quirks are what make each of us unique, so embrace the little quirks and that make you, you. Do it more that makes you happy. Pursue a path that helps you get up in the morning. If you know this class at all, we aren't really morning people, as our teachers and parents can probably vouch for. for so find something that motivates you. Something that encourages you to get up and start the day. Something to be proud of. Make sure what you end up doing in life is something that you enjoy and that brings out the best in you. Put the cell phone down. Posting what you had for breakfast this morning and complaining on Twitter using hashtag first world problems is not a, what life's about. Now I'm not saying to completely cut technology out of your life because I know it's like asking Polly to give up the Beamer. <laughs> but just remember that life is short and to live in the moment because like our time at Hopkins has taught us, time flies and if you blink, you might miss it. And finally, a proper graduation speech 
would not be complete without an inspirational quote by Ellen DeGeneres. Follow your passion, stay true to yourself, never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you get lost and you see a path, then by all means you should follow that one. Congratulations, class of 2016. We did it. <laughs>